If you've been to the movie theater lately, you know that artificial intelligence rules Hollywood this year. Super smart robots are being humanized on the big screen, making it seem like a thing of the near future. And scientists say it actually is. CCTV's Karina Huber reports concern is growing that science fiction will become science fact. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What are you talking about, Hal? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. In the sci-fi film 2001, A Space Odyssey, Hollywood mined our fears of machines taking over mankind. But some of the tech world's greatest minds worry it may not be pure science fiction. At a speech last year at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, SpaceX and Tesla CEO Elon Musk called artificial intelligence potentially, quote, our biggest existential threat. I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water, and he's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. Famed physicist Stephen Hawking is also worried, as is Microsoft founder Bill Gates, who ironically helped lay the foundation for artificial intelligence, or AI. Experts say machines are still far from being as intelligent as humans, but things can change quickly. The field is progressing very rapidly right now. There are things happening that 10 years ago we would have said, no, there's no way we're going to be that far along in 10 years' time. Self-driving cars is one example, voice recognition another. But in the near term, what worries Russell and other AI experts are robotic weapons, machines that can function entirely without the guidance of humans, known as fully autonomous weapons. According to a report by Human Rights Watch and Harvard Law School, they don't yet exist, but the technology is there for them to be developed. They are urging the United Nations to ban these weapons. Musk and others would like to see the entire field of artificial intelligence regulated to control the way it is implemented. What we have to do is to make sure that if we ever succeed in making machines that smart, they had better be 100 percent on our side, not 99 percent on our side, uh, because we don't want a 1 percent loophole, uh, which could lead to the human race, as it were, losing the chess game. Figuring out how to ensure machines stay 100 percent on the side of humanity won't be an easy task. But experts seem to agree it's worth exploring now rather than later when it may be too late. Karina Huber, CCTV, New York.